In the previous video, I mentioned that there are configuration of lights that make the puzzle impossible to solve. And we are now going to look at an example of such a configuration. But before we do that, let's look at something related. So I'm going to export the puzzle data here and load that into Maple. So I'm going to save this. So here's my matrix. So again, the first 25 columns correspond to 25 squares. And the ones in the column indicate which squares are affected when the corresponding square is clicked. All right, let's uh, put this into Maple. And this time we're going to look at the null space of the coefficient matrix. So uh, my matrix. Okay, so we're just interested in the coefficient matrix. So let me take a sub matrix of M consisting of the first 25 columns. Note that N is symmetric. And now I'm going to look at the null space of this. Module 2, of course. So we have two vectors that give a basis for the null space of N. So these are solutions that give you zero. So if I multiply n by each of these vectors, I get the zero vector. And what that means here is that uh, if you click on the corresponding squares, you will end up with a starting configuration. So let's see if that's the case. Now, there's an option in the likes here if I click restart, I get the original configuration. So I'm going to take the first vector here and click the lights that correspond to these ones. And at the end, I should get back this configuration. All right. So I have to click the first square, the third square, the fifth, and the sixth, eighth, tenth one. And then I skip an entire row. And then I click these three and then I click the bottom row the first the third and the last one so I've clicked all the squares that correspond to these one and now let me click restart you should get we should get back the same configuration all right as you see nothing has changed and I can do the same thing for this second vector Okay, and I click restart again I get the same configuration now what about configurations that are impossible to solve well and it's symmetric so these vectors also form a basis for the left node space all I need to find is a vector that is not orthogonal to both of these and there's a very simple vector that is not orthogonal to both of these is the vector with one in the first position and zero everywhere else right because if I take the dot product of that with the first vector here, I get 1. And so that vector is going to be linear independent with all these columns in N. Because any vector that is dependent on these 25 columns will have to be orthogonal to both of these vectors in the null space. The one that has 1 in the first component and 0 everywhere else is not orthogonal to this vector. So that's just one configuration that will not have a solution. But I can easily come up with another one. I can pick a vector that has uh, ones in the second, third, and fourth position. So that means, so that gives me the configuration that has the second, third, and fourth squares lit. And that is also impossible to solve.